Wow, we want to fight over today. Um, um, uh, uh, oh, so, oh, so, um, I was um, on, I was YouTube on YouTube the other day, the other day and, um, and, um, I saw a I video saw a from video David, from Pack. David Pack. Wait, wait, you're just expecting me to fight with you? Yeah, generally, yeah. What's up? Um, am I gonna get banned again? Uh, I don't know, it depends on if RTBA is watching, I guess. Um, okay. Uh, I saw a video from David Pakman the other day, and he basically calls you out for claiming that he was far left on your stream. Um, there was also a lot of other things in that same stream that you made that were just, like, super out of touch. Uh -huh. For starters, why did you refer to David Pakman as far left? Like, what, what policies does he have that makes you box him there? Uh, pretty sure he supports Bernie Sanders' single-payer healthcare plan. Um, he's probably in favor of big adjustments to the minimum wage, uh, like 15 hour minimum wage. Um, he's probably, uh, I'm trying to think what I've seen on him for the trans kid stuff. Um, the last big argument we had is over Rittenhouse stuff, so it's been a pretty, a pretty long time away. But I'm pretty sure he literally says, I don't think it's controversial, he considers himself far left. I think he even says that. I think he says that in the very video you're referring to, he's like, yeah, I would be far left. Yeah, but he says that in the context of countering your point, saying that, like, you're also, you would also... Yeah, he says that, quote-unquote, countering my point, because he thinks when I call him far left, it's an insult. It wasn't an insult. I was just saying he's, like, far... I would consider... I would... And, yeah, because he tried to, like, get me back by saying, well, he destiny's far left. Yeah, I am far left, too. I consider myself, like, center to far left as well, yeah. Well, hold on. When you insinuate that someone is extreme, there's, like, always necessarily going to be language normatively loaded in it for most people. Like yeah, I know, I understand, yeah, extreme. I have to do, like, a better job cool. at, like, because people get triggered at, like, a motherfucker whenever you say anything in this fucking country right now, so, yeah. I mean, I think it was recently I got a little upset, but also... No, I think if you listen to the uh, whole thing, I don't think I use, like, far, like, I've constantly described myself as far left. I have constantly, like, described some people as far left that I, like, have respect for, like, I, I've never used far left. Like, if I'm trying to insult somebody, I usually call them, like, a commie retard or some, like, ultra far leftist or whatever. I'm just like, oh, this guy's, like, far left or this guy's far right or but whatever. I don't know if I would call you very left-wing at all, but, I mean, I guess, of that's course, you because, want to cast yourself. Yeah, you're retarded, yeah, but that's okay. Uh-huh, nice. Um, but earlier you said um, that uh, you said that stuff like $15 minimum wage is uh, is extreme. Like, do I you said really the collection think, like, of all of his policies would place him as far left, yes. Yeah, and I think everything you listed about the policies that he has there, I don't think they're that extreme. In fact... I, you've said in the past that those I, that those policies are not even mainstream, which is wild to me. Like, what you, okay, even your own let's subreddit. think, what do, yeah, what do we mean when we say far left? Let's get this out of the way. So, typically extreme, typically, like, not mainstream, or like, a majority of the country. Yes, okay, Or like, that's not correct. a significant portion. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I would say that, like, stuff like $15 minimum wage is pretty mainstream. In okay. fact, I think uh, some states already have it. I don't think that it's wild that he's saying that like some probably states have having it, like the most left-leaning states ever having 15 an hour minimum wage. I don't I don't think that makes it a mainstream position. Um, highest minimum wage in US. The highest minimum wage right now is there are 3 states that have a minimum wage of $15. You've got Washington, California, Massachusetts. And then New York and New Jersey are fourteen dollars. So, <clears throat> isn't California also like the biggest state, like one of the biggest states in the country? Like, sure, but it's already also like, like a solidly blue state. Yeah. Yeah, but like, do, wait, doesn't wait, isn't the state you live in, Florida, also have fifteen dollars? I could be misremembering on that, but I do think that for Miami, $15. I, I don't know. Fifteen an hour might not be a that might not be the far left position. Where now on Twitter you see people like Nina Turner Ship tweeting like twenty five an hour or so. But back in twenty sixteen, which is when the Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren and we were talking about all this shit, um, and and I guess people were, were in twenty twenty as well. But like back then it was like a, a way more niche position, right? Because Bernie Sanders pushed okay, sure. Hillary Clinton into adopting that position. Okay, sure, but you call David Pakman uh, far left for having positions like that in twenty twenty three. Okay, like, let's also... hold on. Let's macro view. Do you think David Pakman is far left compared to the average American? I think he's moderate left. Okay, what's an example of f far left to you? I think 
like being super socialist uh, or like an anarcho-communist like Vosh. I think that's probably like an example of like a far leftist. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so like, and like you framed yourself as like the one center left political Well, never, I don't want to talk about like, I don't care about one left, like your definition of far left is fucking retarded. So I don't, but like we can talk about policy or whatever you want, but I don't want to talk about like far yeah. left center, because like, if you're like, oh, well, you're not a communist. Like, okay, I don't care. But yeah, what else do you want to talk about? Um, you also like cast it. I first of all, I just want to reiterate, I disagree with you framing uh, fifteen dollars as like or a livable wage in general as to be an insane out there idea. Like, I didn't say insane agree. out there idea. I just said that, especially when you say living wage, that's a pretty far left talking point in the United States. No, it's a livable wage. I I just the fundamental idea that you think it's far left for a livable wage. I just know. I I think. Okay. Yeah. I mean, but, well. Then you also said, um, in that same argument, that uh, David Pakman is far left because he had a... What was it you said? You said that, like, he... I think he said he has a... He believes in a free healthcare, or, like, healthcare being, like, a human right or whatever. Like, again, this is also, like, a pretty mainstream take, and uh, you're even... Mainstream again, in what country? America, yeah, obviously. It's, it's not, but okay. Wait, how is it not mainstream to think that, like, majority of, like, the youth, for example... Is supporting like majority of the youth is not majority of the country. Why? Why? Notice how you had to qualify that immediately because you know you're wrong. Wait, no, it's not because I know I'm wrong. Like I'm sure there's even old people or like older people, I'm sure, who will of course agree. Like, yeah, if you if you sat down and talked to like more than just Nazis and conservatives, I'm sure you would know that there's a lot of people out there who uh, agree that like, yeah, you know, um, like free healthcare or like healthcare being super affordable borderline free like that's not that insane most people would agree with that okay i super disagree but I, who knows i guess legislatively we'll see if you <laughs> if you're right i mean so you just you don't even care that your subreddit pushed back on you on that too uh i saw one post about it and it was retarded as fuck and i'm pretty sure he got destroyed in his posts so i don't know i'm I, you actually got a decent amount of upvotes I'm not looking at upvotes. I'm reading the post and I'm reading the replies. <laughs> but okay. okay. Well, I mean, I guess you're, I guess you just uh, are just conceding all this to me today. Well, there's wait. What do you think I'm thing. conceding? The guy started off oh. by saying that like the healthcare position wasn't that radical. I think he was talking about either Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren when the healthcare policies yeah. that Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders would have been the most radical healthcare system in the entire world. No system has zero copay, covers all ages and people, has, uh, covers vision and dental, is single payer with all private insurance limited. That is the most far left health plan care plan in the entire world. And the guy on my server was saying like, oh, this is like normal in Europe. So no, it was, it was a stupid post. No, he didn't just say it was normal in Europe. Yeah, I actually, I book, I'm glad I bookmarked this post. Investigating Destiny's claims that Willis with Warren's policies would be characterized as far left in Europe. He cites like multiple sources saying like, um, the conversion ratio in um, the UK would be roughly 1570 per hour. Um, he also cites sources saying that uh, France has a minimum wage. Yeah, sure, but wage, he's also which... talking about the minimum wage right now and not what people pushed for seven years ago. Which I believe somebody in the Reddit post actually corrects him on. Um, wait, the... Yeah, I think it's the first comments. It's to be fair, you should look at the numbers in the same context where Cambria was running. Uh... I don't think that totally... I'm not sure how this actually going to go. German, the employer must offer paid vacation. Let's try. Wait, can you repeat that one more time? Sorry. When they were pushing for 15 an hour, it was in 2016 and earlier. And I'm pretty sure that the minimum wages in all those countries that are cited were, I think in every single one, I think they were below the, um, they were below the 15 an hour that were, were, was being pushed. And again, I'm pretty sure progressives today, if you look at them on social media, they're pushing for, um, for more than 15 an hour now. Well, I'm not talking about like what a fringe minority of leftists online are pushing for like 25 guys. I'm talking right now. Well, fringe minority is what is far left, right? Yeah, but I'm saying that people like David Pakman or Elizabeth Warren pushing for that stuff today is not even remotely extreme. And like outside of a couple fringe leftists. If you, okay, say, like, if oh, you were to ask no, David Pakman, do you think that we should have a higher minimum wage, higher than 15 an hour, if that would constitute a living wage? Do you think Pacman would say yes or no? I think he would say it's close to, at least close to a minimum wage, yeah. Or no, but he, wage, would, he yeah. would prefer the living wage over the minimum wage. 
yeah. oh, of 15 an hour. He'd say, yeah, it should be pegged as like a minimum, as a, I'm sorry, as a living wage. And that position will probably make you pretty far left compared to almost all Americans. I don't I, think Even David Pakman says he's far left. I don't know why you're even, I don't know what we're even, it's like you're arguing to argue. Like even David Pakman says his positions would make him, yeah, far left. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not like a bad thing to be far left, especially if you consider yourself a leftist. There's nothing wrong with that. I just, I just don't agree with you framing him as far left. Okay, well, he when... agrees with me framing him as far left, so I don't know what you want me to say. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't even think you're as far left as he, as far left as he is. I'm probably like not you... as far left as he is. I don't think I say I am. Okay. Okay. There was one other thing I wanted to ask, and it was specifically about what you said with Ben Shapiro. Oh, joy. Uh, you said that Ben Shapiro was just center right, like you just basically downplayed all their ideas and everything that they represent as just being to the right of center. Like you don't think that's a little bit stupid? I think that the heart of the Republican Party policy-wise is probably somewhere between like Ben Shapiro and the rest of the Daily Wire. So. I don't think Ben Shapiro was like an anti-vaxxer, but he'll be against vax mandates. I don't think Ben Shapiro thinks that the election was stolen, but he'll say that we should have more election integrity. Um, I don't think Ben Shapiro is like a hardcore isolationist, but he should say like, well, maybe we shouldn't be meddling in Ukraine as much. Like, that's my, that's for like most of Ben Shapiro's positions, they're probably gonna center around, like between him and the rest of the Daily Wire, probably gonna center around like on average where like conservatives are or a little to the left of most conservatives. That, that's my guess. I I'm pretty sure that like he's gone more mask off with stuff like uh, being against gay marriage, at least with some, with one of his recent tweets. He's religious. Um, just, well, yeah, but that goes against what he. I'm saying it's more mask off compared to before, where to what, like you would say. Was oh, he yeah, pro I guess gay the, marriage in the past? Yeah, I almost distinctly remember in the past that uh, he was in an interview saying like, "Listen, I don't think the government should interfere whatsoever. If you want to marry whoever you want to marry, you can." Well, but, but that like, would be now, consistent with somebody saying that like the government shouldn't legalize gay marriage; they should just stay out of it. That's like always um, the. No, I think there's a difference between him saying that like the government shouldn't, him not being opposed to gay marriage. I think there's a difference between those two things, but okay. I mean, also, like, the Daily Wire has uh, Candace Owens on it as well, not just Ben Shapiro. Like, Candace Owens, uh, what is it? Matt Walsh, I think, is on it now. And that guy literally was a former fucking uh, race realist, I think. Also, he was... Matt uh, Walsh is a broken. race realist? Yeah, he's a former race realist and a former pro-Confederate Well, person. you can't was be a former race realist. You were a former race realist. You can't formerly be a former race realist once you were a race realist you always were a race realist so i don't know what that means but okay when, when was he a, what, what did he say that made him a race realist hold on i i have the link right here uh i'm glad i bookmarked all this uh in 2010 to 2011 hosted a radio show called the matt and crank program where he was offered much more freedom than his current show on the daily wire on this program he made statements and clips where he said that Abraham Lincoln believed so much in states' rights that he sent hundreds of thousands of federal troops into sovereign states and just started killing everyone. And in that mock campaign ad for the RNC, he criticized Lincoln for fighting to keep the United States together as a coherent whole after the Confederate states seceded over the rights to keep black people's property. Like, and then there's also race realism. Hold on, realism, wait, wait, what like part of that statements. was race realism? Okay, I I can just link you the thread and you can read well, it. Well, no, no, I'm just curious. You know, I'm gonna read it. I'm just curious. What part did he believe that? Does he race realism means that black people are fucked because of genetics? That's what race realism means. Yeah. yeah okay. I'll read the comment on that. It's because we're all dying off. Yes, that's what the problem is. It's not that I'm quoting him. That's what the problem is. It's not that we're just as the Mexicans coming in, we magically meld them and become like them. It's not like that. It's that we are dying off just like any other species of animal does. We're dying, and the way that animals there's two. Western white race is not having kids. They're just not. That's why 10 years before those average family was with like 2.3 kids. Now it's one point something. I mean, we've lost a whole kid in 10 years. And I mean, you can't just survive when you refuse to have kids. When that just sounds like a factually here, true. What is the, what is incorrect about that? The white people are probably. Okay. Okay. They being that they're a different culture, a different race and everything else. They bring with them an identity and they bring it to America. And so as the Anglo-Saxons, which were the original Americans die off, our identity and our culture goes with it. Okay. If he is a race realist, what you just described is called mask on race realism. Mask off with him would be him saying that like these people are a different race or ethnicity, they'll never be the same as us. Okay. We 
even if at best it was mask on race realism that's still way more than just center right well no for, first of all i don't know if that position is more than center right um i'm pretty sure like if you were to pull the average Republican person right now, I don't know how keen they would be about, like, big Mexican immigration. Most Republicans, I think, supported Trump's Muslim ban. Um, I, it's probably around, like, the average conservative belief, be my well, guess. Well, hold on. When you say most Republicans support the tr Muslim ban, those are you're referring to, like, the far right in America, not the center right. The far right? You Trump had the majority of the Republican Party. He had massively high approval ratings in the Republican Party. They were, like, untouchable. So most yeah, there's of what, a lot of far right extremism in the country today, but that's not the on. same as like center. That's not that's if you can't say that most of the conservative party is far right, that would mean that it's probably not far right yeah. anymore. We would, that would be considered like the new right. That's like the moderate right position in the United States. No, because relative to like Democrats and moderates, it's still extreme, right? I'm looking at the whole political. Uh, okay, spectrum. if you want to use the words like that, that's fine. I don't care. It's but we're just fighting. You no, know, because it's we're not even having like a real conversation. Important. Okay, no, no, it's, it's not important. important. It's important because you want the normative loading of it. That's why. That's why it's important to you. But if you wanted the normative. No. Like, that's fine. Far right equals bad, and the average Republican is bad. Yes. Okay. I'll give no, you no because when you frame it as just center right, you are downplaying the idea. You are downplaying the no, severity of the No. When ideas. you frame it as far right, you're downplaying how widespread it is in society. And you're making it sound fucking crazy, and that's the problem with progressives all the time. You go, "That's far right. That's right. That's not fucking far right. It's the average Republican. The average Republican right now doesn't trust vaccines and doesn't think the election was real. For you to write it off as just the far right, the average Republican is crazy. Okay, but they're clearly they're not. The average human being is not crazy. They all think something. There's a reason why. You get to address that. You can't just write them off as far right crazy. You got to figure out why the fuck they believe that thing. This is why I. Think I that... never said that the average human being is crazy. I'm saying that the average Republican has gone crazy. Okay, the average Republican is true, make up and we can't just that's... downplay it or that say, is... oh, you know, they can't help themselves. Uh, you know, we just gotta, okay. you know, uh, empathize. Yeah. How are okay. progressives doing politically in the U.S. right now? Um, didn't we like do pretty decently in the no, midterms? No, they're pretty dog shit, and they always have been, and they always will be. Uh, that's factually untrue. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. What are you trying to say? Just what I said. There's a reason why progressives make no fucking gains in U.S. politics. It's because they're insanely unpopular. Nobody likes them. Nobody likes your rhetoric. Nobody likes your policies. They have no, like, great electoral gains to speak of. <clears throat> well, hold on. People don't like, like, farther left policies like from Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren because, like, moderates like you keep casting them as extremists and also you keep like no they don't like over... it because the policies just aren't that popular nobody likes them because people like you I... you actually you even gave the meme line earlier that i said plagues progressives everywhere where you said if i could just sit somebody down and explain it to them they'd agree with me every <laughs> fucking progressive believes that all of you think that if you can just talk to somebody for two minutes you can convince them for any crazy cockamamie idea that you have it's just not true i don't think that's what it is what it is is that um hold on trying to look for the thing that I bookmarked. I think what it is is that like these ideas are more popular than you let on. And okay. I think David Pakman, he had a podcast interview with um is it Lex Friedman and he talked about how like he thinks that a large reason why candidates like Bernie Sanders don't perform as well is because of like money talks, right? Like you have nah. PACs, super PACs. Really, you're just gonna write it off and say that like the massive donations that Biden gets don't make any impact whatsoever? Didn't Bernie have? No, we had two billionaires in the last election and they got fucking crushed. Okay. Well, and Bernie Sanders didn't he outraise? Uh, didn't he? Wasn't he the highest recipient of donors of any candidate? Well, doesn't that doesn't that kind of add to my point though that like he does that he is his no, ideas he had the money are and more got popular. Crushed. Well, that's because. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna move the goalpost a little bit. Okay. I don't even care whether the polling projections predicted that Bernie had a smaller chance of winning regardless. Like, the fact that the establishment was able to, like, rig against Bernie and do dirty, dirty tactics to, like, 100% assured the nomination for that, No, there was no dirty tactics. Bernie was behind the whole time. He continued to be behind the whole time, and then he lost because he was behind the whole no, time. No, it's not even about whether he was guaranteed to win or, like, whether he was already guaranteed to lose. Like, the fact that they guaranteed it. Like, How did they, they, they guarantee made a it? Okay. Um... Okay, um, let me try, I'm trying to think. In 2016, I believe, uh, I think it was Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Yeah, they I gave the interview, they gave the questions ahead Donna of time Brazil. one time. Yeah, Donna Brazil, one time. Do you think that was the whole Wait. reason why Bernie lost? No, but I'm not saying that's the whole reason why Bernie lost, but I'm saying that Bernie probably would have performed better 
if there wasn't stuff like that going on behind the scenes. Okay, like why didn't he behind. win the Why didn't he win the second time he ran then? He already had a whole campaign cycle, and he because, got crushed the second time too. Why? Because the first time we saw proof of it in 2016 shows that it's it makes it indicative that stuff like that happens probably reg on a regular basis. So it's not a stretch to say that it happened again in 2020. Okay, and I'm so not I saying can that, never win way, that argument because it's, you're just giving me a conspiracy. I can't. There's nothing I can say to convince you. Wait, it's you. not a conspiracy. It in is. 2016, we have proof of it. In 2016, in one time, interview questions were given in advance to Hillary Clinton, which was wrong, but like, that's it. But Hil but Bernie was losing before that ever happened. Like, it's not like that was like the turning point in Bernie's campaign. Okay. I, let me move the goalpost a little bit further then. Okay. Maybe he was guaranteed to lose no matter what. But don't you at least think it's because you always like to say that the Democratic Party is like perfect and totally fair and can I do say no that wrong. All you the like time, to... yes. All the time, yes. Okay. Okay. I do. You like to cast them as that. Yes. And that's the takeaway your audience gets. I hope and so. You seem to agree with that. Yes. Yeah, of course you do, because you're a capitalist shill. But And an established like, shill, yes. You don't think it's even remotely unethical that like they are that there is a blatant bias against certain candidates whatsoever um, you don't think there's anything wrong with that or like the fact that like several politicians in the race can like get together behind the scenes and like agree to, like all right let's all simultaneously agree to endorse joe biden all at once just to make sure that this one candidate loses like you don't think there's anything even remotely scary that like that sort of thing can happen in our system no that's politics that's what you're supposed to do what? is cutting deals but with that, people and like, yeah, you can be in my administration and that those people all shared values anyway. Yeah, of course. I I think it's more like you're, you're like reframing in the most like chair, like, oh, they're just, they're just no, playing No, I'm not reframing no, the most charitable. Th you're, the problem is your counterfactual is fucking insane. Your counterfactual is, I think that every single moderate needed to say running against Bernie, the far left candidate the entire time so that they constantly split the vote every single time because the only way Bernie could win would be that way because he could never get more than 30% support. That would be fucking crazy. That would be, not only would that be insane, the American people or the Democratic Party would rightfully feel super fucked. Why the fuck should four moderates stay in and split the vote when obviously there's way more unity among those voters than there would be against people that would support them versus Bernie Sanders. I don't buy the narrative that like, oh, we need to be moderate in order to have more unity. I really do well, think they, that the Bernie moderates is... had more support in the Democratic Party. Black people hated Bernie Sanders. Like, what do you want me to say? Like, the moderate vote was way stronger in the Democratic Party than the far left one was. Fine. Bernie wasn't going to win, but I still think you should at least concede to me that like the Democratic Party is kind of fucked that they're allowed to do stuff like that behind the scenes. Dude, no, and that's like, part of oh, politics. It's just politics. Well, then maybe we can change the system so that stuff like that can't happen. Because what if in the future, right, let's say uh, wait, 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 someone wait. else. Change the system. So like if you're running in a campaign, you're no longer allowed to like drop out and like take a position in somebody else's cabinet. If you're running a campaign, it's either president or nothing. I think that like specifically like several politicians getting together and doing something like that to like increase the chances artificially inflating. Why do you uh, keep saying artificially? Candidate. The only thing artificial was the fact that Bernie was ahead because he was, because there were like five different moderate candidates splitting the vote. Oh wait, but first earlier, didn't you say that Bernie Sanders wasn't that popular, but now you're saying like he was ahead of five other candidates. Like, all right, well. Can you, hold on. This is gonna be a brain bender, a real test. Can you please explain those two statements and how they're not contradictory? Uh, what? Like, which two statements? Bernie Sanders can be beating four to five candidates, but not be that popular. Those two statements are not contradictory. But I'm, no, I was saying that, like, yeah, I don't think that's contradictory. Bernie Sanders could never pull more than 30% support in the Democratic Party. But if you split all the moderate votes, then he can be ahead of those people. He's still not getting above 30% support in the party, but he can beat four other people that are each getting like 15% support. So yeah, that one, like, he'll never like... have, having a plurality when it's like 30% is not impressive. And it's certainly not a majority support. Yeah, I mean, it absolutely was impressive enough that like the Democratic establishment got scared out of their minds and said, all right, we'll drop out and uh, go behind the curtain and start like asking, like, are we going to all work at the same time, just mass endorse Joe Biden? Like, apparently it was impressive enough to scare them into doing that. Okay. So, like, I know you like to downplay Bernie's popularity and how mainstream he is, but like, it uh -huh. kind of speaks for itself that he scared the establishment as much as he did. Petrified they were, I heard. Yeah. Um... I don't, okay. I I think I did a pretty good job pushing back against you, but I don't think you moved on anything. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I have oh, uh, no. one extra thing um, I want to say, if that's okay. You can say as much as you want. What's up? 
Um, I, I need you to promise not to get like super mad at me for it or whatever, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. Um, I gotta add you on Discord. Why? Can't you just talk in here. What are you doing? Well, because... It's not because I like you or anything like that. It's just because your mods are super unhinged and they just violently ban people like me for no reason. So this way, when I get inevitably get banned again, I have insurance to fall back on and I can just DM you personally and be like, Hey, I got banned again for no reason. Can you please unban me? Like, that's the only reason I'm asking. Okay, what are you asking? That I have to add you on Discord. Just tell me what is the question. That was the question. I, I have Oh, to... that's it? Yeah. I think you'll be okay. All right, I'll keep an eye out for you, all right? You won't let me get banned? I won't let you get banned, all right, buddy? Okay. Sorry, I yelled a little bit. Okay. 